Ah, the title is In the Company of Microbes. Why did I choose the title? Because I have a hobby, which is wild mushrooms. And I once wrote a book called In the Company of Mushrooms. So now it's In the Company of Microbes. I now have the franchise of In the Company of. So that's, that's why I chose the title. Well, it's, it, this it commemorates 10 years of the blog, Small Things Considered. And these are pieces from the blog. So I like to say that blog years are like dog years. So 10 years is a long time, and uh, uh, it was suggested to me that it's time to put uh, some excerpts of the book, of the blog, into a book. Well, uh, we have about 1,000 posts in the blog, so I had to be very choosy. I chose about 60 or 70, and what I, what I went for is the pieces, which uh, much of it is written by other people, including students and notable microbiologists. It's not all written by me. But I thought the pieces that I chose are uh, reminiscences, reflections, uh, semi-philosophical pieces. Not all of them, but many have sort of a general aspect, which ought to have a general appeal. The reason for doing it is that the science gets dated right away. And also, not everybody's interested in the same thing in science. These are things that I think have a general appeal. Uh, some historical aspects of microbiology and things like that. Well, I would guess uh, that if you have zero background, if you are uh, you know, not at all trained in microbiology, you could understand and read at least half, if may maybe more. Uh, the more microbiology you have, the more you're going to be able to get into the details. But the way to read some of the, the chapters are short, by the way. So you can select. The, the introduction and the ending are always accessible. You know, the, the middle sometimes is a little bit more meaty, and sometimes the words may escape you. But I think for most of it, it's not so. Certainly the historical pieces are all, and the philosophical pieces are all accessible. <laughs>